it's uh, going to be very exciting. We got a new coach in Coach Flory. He's very, he's great. We've had him since seventh grade, so we know him very well. Uh, we're really young, so that's exciting for the future. We're going to be battling against tough teams like Hopakon, Lenape, and Newton with uh, Coach Parzero, and it's it's going to be a fun year. We hope to go to stage. That's our goal ultimately. Under this, under new Coach Flurry, it's we're we're more of a family this year rather than a team that wants to go out and win. We want to compete together and do our best that we possibly can as a one unit whole. We only have uh, two kids returning, me and Ryan Darling, but you know it's also good to have a lot of kids that are brand new. You know we've all been playing together since we were little, so even though there's new kids there, it's not a totally new system. Everything's the same. Pretty excited. Um, we are a young team. We only have two returning starters, but the kids have shown a great propensity to uh, pick up the system that's been, uh, you know, established here. And I think we're going to um, do fine as a group as long as we stay together as a group and believe in the system that was already established. But for the most part, pretty excited um, to see where these kids can go. You know, it's new for them, so we're, it's new for me, so we're, we're a, a great journey together. This is Coach Gene Fleury's first year as the head coach here at North Warren, but he's been part of the community, the football community, since 96. He was an assistant to Matt Parzero for many, many years, so the transition's been smooth. You know, the success from, from the time uh, Matt Parzero got here, I mean, you, you don't have to look very far. Every year he was here, we had a winning record, and then we went to the States. Um, that's a foundation that's been built. The kids have seen that. Um, even though they have not weren't part of the starting group, they've they've witnessed the pre preparation and also the execution. So I'm hoping that's going to carry over, and I think it will carry over. Um, you know, the kids, um, it's going to be on them in the sense of put it on the field, but the preparation, what was established from, from Matt Parzero, the transition now to, to myself, very, very minor changes. You know, uh, I believe in a wing tee as much as Matt does. And um, I think, you know, the kids... Uh, for the numbers, we're, we're going to be okay. We're going to do fine. Parzera left, and, you know, we can't really dwell on that. We've had Coach Foy as our coach since we were all in seventh grade. You know, he knows all of us. He can uh, actually just handpick us because he knows all of our strengths and weaknesses for his position. So he's just really a great coach. We give him everything we got because he gives us everything uh, he has. Not only did North Warren lose Coach Matt Parzero, they lost arguably one of the best senior classes to come through here. There's going to be a lot of young kids on this team, but the Patriots are looking forward to that challenge. We have a lot of younger kids coming up. Uh, obviously, we have a, uh, a good core of uh, sophomores, uh, a decent core of uh, juniors. So they mesh together, you know, and I, I see uh, good things in the future. One of the starters back is Ron Lubertazzo, terrific two-way athlete. He's going to play quarterback, and he knows he has big shoes to fill. Great quarterbacks like Sean Thornton and Dave Wilbur, and you can even go back to Nick Lures. I know I have big shoes to fill. Uh, Sean was great last year and the year before that, and then David the two years before that. So um, I know there's always been a strong quarterback at North Warren, so I am hope to you know, make him proud and keep the tradition going. Ronnie has been in the program, uh, obviously, for four years. He's been the backup uh, quarterback, so it's his turn to kind of shine. He knows the system very well, a very uh, a cerebral player. Um, you know, I, I look for big things from him. You know, he's going to be a, definitely a leader on and off the field. Ryan Durling had a great year last year in defensive line. He's going to look to anchor the line again this year. He'll also be playing offensive line as well. I hope to be a mentor to the younger kids and, and kind of build on what I had last year. Kind of show a little more than I could last year, learn more than I did last year, get better every day that we practice. North Warren's part of the new North Jersey Super Football Conference, like everyone else in the Muggs Media area. But one of the games they were able to pick up because of the change is Belvedere, a longtime tradition. North Warren Belvedere, great rivals, and they'll be playing again for the first time in a while Thanksgiving weekend. I can tell you, the, uh, the communities are so much uh, alike, and I think it's a great thing. Um, it's okay to have rivalries. These are things you, you talk about uh, later on in life and how much fun you had. Um, the, the, the basic uh, feeling here is that um, we're, we're two communities similar uh, but separate. But I tell you, the kids will talk about this for the rest of their lives. So we're excited about it.